Welcome to the speaking portion of your IELTS test. My name is Jenin and I'm the speaking examiner for you today. Um, your speaking test will be completely recorded from now for your marking purpose. Um, can I see your ID please? Thank you. And your full name is? My full name is Blessy Rene Joseph and people call me Blessy. Alright, let's see. Right. So uh, we have three different uh, parts for our speaking test. I will be giving you instruction in each section. Uh, we are going into the part one. Um, so I will be asking you some uh, personal questions and maybe something uh, which is general. All right. Okay. okay we'll start. So Blessy, where are you from? I'm from Trivandrum, which is uh, the capital city of Kerala. It is uh, located in the west coast of the southern part of India. So do you live in a small town or a big city? Uh, I live in a small town which is, which is just 10 kilometers away from the main city. Right. And uh, since we have a car, we often travel to the city. Right. What can people do uh, in your place for fun? Uh, well, there are a lot of things for people to do like uh, there are cinema theatres, shopping malls and uh, for children there are parks and uh, people usually spend a lot of time during their free time they go to these uh, places to have fun. Right, okay. Do you, do you like to move to another country or, uh, or a place in future? Uh, yes, of course. Since I'm a person who prefers change in life, I, uh, if I get a chance, I would definitely move to another place. So that's the end of part one. Uh, we are moving into the part two, which is the cue card. So uh, this is a question. Don't turn it over. And um, this is a paper and a pencil for making you the notes. So um, you can turn the um, question now. And when you look into the question, you can prepare it for one minute. And once you're ready, you can start. Uh, and you need to speak for a minimum of two minutes. All right? OK, let's start, please. Right, we can start now. Well, a trip that I have made on a public transport is a train journey uh, to Velankani Church, which is located around 500 kilometers away from Trivandrum city. Uh, it was in the year 2005 while I was reading my first year psychology in Loyola College, Trivandrum, that I went on this train journey. My friends Karen and Sarah were the ones who took me on this trip. Uh, even though it's been like uh, nearly 15 years since I went on this uh, public transport, I still remember it like it was just yesterday. Uh, to reach Velangani Church, I had to use two means of public transport. First, uh, we took a train from Trivandrum Central Railway Station to Marthandam, and from there we boarded a state transport bus to Velangani Church. Altogether, it took us around 20 hours to reach there. And once we reached Velangani Church, we offered our prayers and uh, after having some rollicking fun around, we traced our way back to Trivandrum using the same route that we had used earlier. Uh, the best part about this trip was that we had enough time to spend with each other, discussing our personal happenings, as well as the um, political developments in our state. And since uh, all three of us supported different political parties, uh, the discussion was quite lively. Apart from that, we also let each other uh, into our professional lives, and uh, we discussed the problems that we faced professionally, and we also came up with various solutions to those problems that we have faced. Right, uh, so that's the uh, two minutes up for you. So um, we will move on to the part three, which is the discussion, one-to-one -one discussion, right? So I'll be asking you a few questions which are related to the cue card, okay? So before we start, um, please return me the questions and the notes that you prepared. All right, okay. So we will go with the part three now. So do you prefer to travel by yourself or with your friends? 
Well, I prefer to travel with my friends because I believe that it helps us to catch up with the developments in our life mm -hmm. and renew the bond that we share. Mm -hmm. Right. So what is the main problem of public transport? As far as I am concerned, uh, uh, what I often come across is the problem uh, with the less frequency of bus services, uh, which in turn leads to overcrowding of buses during peak hours and because of which people rely on their own uh, private vehicles, which in turn leads to more traffic stalls. Um, how can the government fix traffic problems? Uh, there are many ways in which the government can fix these problems. Uh, it can uh, uh, re uh, help the people, it can uh, make the people aware regarding the uh, traffic rules and then provide the people with carpooling facilities it can broaden the uh, roads and uh, build more flyovers. Right. Right. Is it necessary to limit the usage of cars? Uh, yes, of course. I feel it is really necessary because uh, the more use of cars uh, leads to more traffic problems, and uh, which in turn leads to air pollution and noise pollution as well. So, should the government encourage the people uh, to use public transports? Uh, well, I think the government should be encouraging the people to use more public transport because that would definitely decrease the uh, traffic congestions and also the pollution problems that are caused. Right, so that is the end of your speaking discussion and the speaker test ends here. Um, you will receive your scores within two weeks of time. Have a nice day. Thank you. Please make sure to take your passport with you. Take care.